Hello, and welcome to another episode of Utopia Restorations. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Will, and today we're going to be putting a brand new Exmoor trim canvas on my Series 3 109 called Aloy. So what I'm going to So this canvas is looking pretty poor. It's been ripped, it's been used, it's sagging, it's got a bit of mold. So the Land Rover prior to me, it could have been left outside and you can see the sort of aging that's happened to it. The canvas had not been looked after and that leads to deterioration. Combined with this, I also rolled the sides up a lot when it was weak and then this has caused rips. Not on this side here, but on the passenger side, there's a lot of rips going on down here. It can often be a weak point in it, particularly when it ages. It is really important on these to look after them when you do put them on. And I tried my best, I tried repairing it, I tried rescuing it, but it got to the point where it is time for a brand new canvas. Now for me, fitting a new canvas to this, there was one make that did it for me. And that is the one who did the original canvases and could do a military spec one. This one, as you can see, is khaki, but doesn't have the awesome military sort of essence to it. The flaps on the sides, which have the rubber mountings for the radio to come out. So it is just a khaki canvas that is a civilian one. You can see here, again, more of the deterioration where it's coming apart. You can see what I mean. It is just a canvas. There's no extra flaps. There's no anything of interest for this. So I've chosen to get my canvas from Exmoor Trim. They are interior partners. I love their work. We've fitted their canvases to many of the clients and many of their interiors. I have seats in the front and they were the ones for me. They were the only ones that could actually provide the sort of quality that I wanted and the design. Now, there are some mixed views when it comes to canvas. Which one's the better? Who does the best one? And all of that. For me personally, I chose Exmoor Trim due to their high quality and their long-standing heritage with the Land Rover. If you want to go for another brand, of course, understand those. But for me, they've got the longevity. The founder's granddad was the eighth employee of Land Rover. They have the original jigs of the first one. They have original templates. They work very closely with them. And the quality, you get a lot of people saying, oh, you know, mine perished after a few years. You have to look after these. It's a natural material canvas. It's not UPVC. We could get a UPVC canvas if you wanted. It's a material that will degrade if you don't look after it and you don't treat it correctly. So first things first, Elo has been sat outside and it's got a lot of rubbish on it. So you're gonna give her a brush down, get all that off, and then we're gonna get the canvas off and get the new one fitted. And before we start the video, just want to say our new clothing has dropped. We have got a new autumn drop coming very soon. So make sure you check out the summer stuff. So we've got a whole range of clothes, which will take you through summer. So here you go, we've got our oil spill t-shirts, as many Land Rovers know in the winter when they leave them, they leave a big oil spill mark. We've got some Utopia restoration caps. We've got our Utopia Rally and Racing. There'll be more on that department and what's happening with that in the future. We've also got Land Rover t-shirts with our iconic Land Rover design R109, which have got embroidered fronts. Land Rover with an XR in the back. We also have more of the oil spill ones. And we have a XR t-shirt. There is many more designs on the website and many things like that, so make sure you go check that out. There'll be a link in the description and there'll be a link on the page. So she's now had a bit of tidy up, it's time to get the canvas off. I typically start with the front, undo all of this and, uh, and fold it all back and then you can stand up inside and flip it off, which I'll show you. So here you go, first time this year, the canvas is off. Admittedly, there's still some stuff in the back. Just gonna give some of the gutters a bit of a clean as I think they have managed to build up some mess, as you can see there. Um, but yeah, this is just one of the original canvases. It's a bit of a clean, but not really too much else to say about this one, other than it is ready for the new canvas to go on. So here is the old canvas. You can see mold, not good stuff. And, well, that's the central bag, which we'll go to that later. Here is the new one very different. So one thing straight out of the box for this canvas is the weight is very different to the previous one. Much thicker, much heavier. You can see on all of the lining and the edges here, 
it's got a good bit of weight here you can see the center line I'm just trying to orientate myself with the canvas so that's going to the front there these are our sides so chatting about the military bits and if you'll let me do it you can see some of them there so there's the sort of tabs and the flaps with them now we've got black we don't have brass which admittedly I quite like the brass but in reality military it's going to be black isn't it you're not going to have shiny bits sticking out on your canvas are you showing their people where you are so i'm going to try haul this up get you a video of me installing it once it's on i'll show you what i think everything goes to plan and manage to leave it in time lapse. What I'm talking about here, the importance of doing up the straps. So you can see the one on the left is tight and the one on the right is bouncing and that's got slack in it. So it's important, particularly with canvases, they shrink to make sure it's all done up nice and tightly when you first do it. And note that these ropes do go around the outside of the flap and come back in there. So here it is now fully installed. The canvas looks absolutely amazing. I'll take you around, show you some of the details and some of the things that I think about it. Let's start with the fit. Now, some of you may say it looks a bit loose. It's not, it is a very tight and it is how it should be. As I've said, these are a living material. They are natural and it will shrink. So it's really important on your first time putting on, make sure everything's really tight, really secure. It will sort of shrink over time. So yeah, really impressed with the fit and how it looks. As I was saying, it is a fitted for radio. So we have the additional extras here. This is the mount for one of the radios. I've got another one to go on the front but this would have had a sort of four meter pole on top of here and you can connect it through with the wires as you can see with the individual clip and you've got the rubber mount there and you've got other additional ports coming out. Now I'll be honest, I don't actually know what all of these do but I do know these are all the correct military ones so you can see them from the other side on the inside here. A bit dark admittedly but it can show you what they do and where they come from. Just to show you on the front, these are the straps and you can see how tight they are. Again, maybe you could do with a bit of adjustment, but you can see the other one over there is tight and the canvas is very taut. Moving down, you can see the fantastic fitment of it with the hoop in the middle there. The beautiful clips, I'm liking all the stitching around the edge, this colour, and you can see the rear canvas here. So it's all correctly tightened. As I've said before, it may look a bit flat and look like this is further than it should be, but that is because the canvas will shrink and that will make its way back up there. Other than that, all I can say is I love it and it looks a lot better than it did. This series will continue as I work on Aloy. We're moving on to the engine next and we've got a few more interior upgrades to go. If you do have any questions about the canvas, let me know. I'll put a link below as to the one that I used. As always, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please drop a like below, comment what you thought and make sure you subscribe so then I can see you next week in the next.